Yo, it's the shoe. I have been busting my ass. Dave Ray? What's got you in such a rush? I brought you a weapon. Well, didn't you already give it to me in the office? I felt that might not be enough. Think about it. You sent Wei Long to jail five years ago. But now, he ain't a punk no more. The guy's the head of Long Shi Gang. He hated your guts for sure. Today, his gang is hosting the Parade of Panate. His men gonna jam the street. Is he gonna cooperate with your investigation? Not a chance. It's gonna be ugly. Thanks, man. I appreciate the concern. Never mind. Long Shi Town is a party today. The streets are full of food stalls. I'm just here for the feast. Here, this is for you. Be careful, man. If the chump and his men make a fuss, don't hesitate. Just do what you have to do. You know I can handle myself. You're right. Still, be careful. I'll see you later. Later. I hear there's a stew pork restaurant in town that's out of this world. Hi there, Zhang Tishu. I'm Mona, the senior mission intel agent on this case. I Greetings, Mona. Pleased to meet you. Liu Xin is my supervisor. You solve many well-known cases with her. I'm honored to be part of your team. <laughs> You're being too polite. Wei Long is currently at the bridge and enjoying the pageant with his underlings. Keep going and cross the barricade. You'll see him once you get down there. Given your skills, this shouldn't be a problem. Thank you, Mona. What do you know about the Parade of Penate? The city god of Longxi Town embarks on his annual tour on the fifth day of the sixth month of the lunar calendar. People also call it the Parade of Penate. To ensure a year of fortune free of calamities, temple crews will organize a rich and colorful parade along the canal. The Longxi Gang grew pretty quickly in the past few years. They donated vast sums for three years running. This fest cost them $50 million alone. Thank you, Mona. That bit of intel is actually quite useful. I will keep an eye out on things, and update you as we go along. Be safe. I'll see you later. You too. Be careful.
Way long. Hmm? <laughs> oh, well. If it isn't a great detective, Xiong Tzu. To what do I owe this pleasant surprise? I'm sure you didn't come all this way just to see our little holiday celebration. This reporter's name is Lizbeth. Hot. She disappeared two days ago. It's too bad I never got to see her with my own eyes. Did any of you see her? Never saw her, boss. You hear that? Now if there's nothing else, piss off. The co-workers say that you're the last person she interviewed. I said you can piss off. You may have heard. We're investigating a murder involving several of your people. If you don't cooperate, I can move this up the chain. Then come back with a search warrant and take you down. If we do it that way, I'm afraid your extravagant parade of Penate might hit a few snags. Screw you! You think you can threaten me on my own turf? Don't think I forgot about our grudge from five years ago. Who do you think you are? You're just a petty detective. What the hell are you all looking at? Put the word out. Whoever kills him gets a 500k reward.
robot. Why do you know me? I'm a cyborg, actually. The name's Fop, and I'm a black market dealer. I know Dave Ray from your office. You know Dave? How? I have a store at the North Plateau Market of Dragon City. Dave pays me occasional visits to buy a few weapon chips or parts you can't get from the open market. Well, North Huaqiang is the place for chips, circuitry, and other electronic parts. Techie like him who just arrived at Dragon City must feel as though he's hit a gold mine. Why are you here? I do business. And business is always better at troubled places. You seem to have a role with the Lucy gangsters. Do you want to check out my wares? They'll help you. Fine. Let me take a look. But first things first. I gotta tell you that Lucy Gangsters buy things from me as well. You're quite... the businessman, I guess. I suppose you'll sweep the battlegrounds afterwards for weapons and loot. Don't shoot. See, I... The rope... I'm... You know... I have... Well, North Walk... you would break your damn leg. Oh shit! 